Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the logarithmic equation on the board. And to do this, we are going to start by reminding ourselves of a few things. Now, the first one is that when the base of the logarithm is not specified, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithm. The second one is that this term, that is log squared of x, is equal to log x squared. It is not equal to log x squared. And then the last point is that while we can apply the power rule of logarithms to this term, we cannot apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. Now let us rewrite this equation. Here we have log x all squared. We are going to apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. That is, we are going to bring down this power, that is 2, to the front to become a multiplier. And of course, you know that 2 times half is equal to 1. So here we have log x, and this is equal to 2. Now you can see that we have log x and log x. So let log x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation becomes d squared plus d minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this quadratic equation. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 2 that add up to plus 1. And of course, that is going to be 2 and minus 1. Because 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. We can factorize this equation as d plus 2 multiplied by d minus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that either d plus 2 is equal to 0 from where d is equal to minus 2 or d minus 1 is equal to 0 from where d is equal to 1. But of course, d is equal to log x. So we have that either log x is equal to minus 2 or log x is equal to 1. Now, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that the base of the logarithm, which in this case is 10, raised to this power is equal to x. So here we have that x is equal to 10 to the power minus 2. And here we have exactly the same thing that x is equal to 10 to the power 1. So the two values of x that satisfy the given logarithmic equation are x equal to 10 to the power minus 2 and x equal to 10. Now let us check to see if they actually satisfy the equation. Now let us substitute 10 to the power minus 2 into the original equation. When we do that, we have log to base 10 of 10 to the power minus 2 squared plus half times log to base 10 of 10 to the power minus 2 squared. Now let us remember that when we have log to base a of a to the power b, that this is simply equal to b. So log to base 10 of 10 to the power minus 2 is simply equal to minus 2. And then this is squared. And here we have half. The same thing happens here. This is log to base 10 of 10 to the power minus 2 times 2. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. So this is simply equal to minus 4. Minus 2 squared is 4. And half of minus 4 is minus 2. And 4 plus minus 2 is equal to 2, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. And for the second value of x, when we substitute 10 into the original equation, we have log to base 10 of 10 squared plus half times log to base 10 of 10 squared. Log to base 10 of 10 is equal to 1, 
1 squared is 1 plus this is half. Log to base 10 of 10 to the power 2. Going back to this is simply equal to 2. This is 1 plus half of 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.